What is going on everyone? It's your boy, Cool, running on 30 minutes of sleep. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be making a drill beat like AJ Tracy. So for those of you who've ever listened to AJ Tracy, you know, man sorta of does a lot of different sounding stuff. And that's why I said we're gonna focus specifically on a drill beat. Um, I'm gonna be going for a vibe similar to Kuko, which is a, a track featuring Nav off his latest project. And it was one of my favorites off the latest project. So, um, you know, we're gonna be making a beat like that. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna bring the uh, BPM up here a little bit and I'm gonna go grab a synth. All right, so I grabbed a sound in Electra. It sounds something like this. That's some like quality key playing ability right there. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna play in some chords and I'll cut to when I've quantized everything because it's gonna sound really bad with the delay beyond my MIDI keyboard. So the uh, chord progression I played in sounds like this. All right, so, you know, it's sounding kind of dark, kind of mysterious in a way, and that's sort of the vibe I get from Kuko and a lot of AJ Tracy's music, you know, it's like dark, mysterious kind of stuff, and, you know, it's really dope. So, uh, I'm gonna start layering some more melodies over this. All right, so I got a piano here, and I think I'm just gonna layer, like, uh, different voicings of the chord. So, like, um, explaining what a voicing is real quick. We got C sharp, E, and G sharp, and this is gonna be a C sharp minor chord, but it's the same chord if I play it like this, because it's the same notes, but it's just voiced differently because I'm playing the C sharp up here as opposed to down here. So, you know, we can really layer it and add on to it if we play the voicings differently, and that's what I'm gonna do with the piano. So, um, stay tuned. All right, so I got the chords played in for the piano here. Um, I ended up going in and articulating them after, and all the articulation does is it just drags them out so they're all the notes are connected. So, as you can see, we got all these uh, notes are connected in here, and piano and the synth together sounds like this. I did add some EQs on the piano and the synth to take out some of the low ends um, because, you know, we're going to obviously put some bass in there. Other than that, um, it's just the raw sound. We're really getting some more sort of depth to the sound here and really getting ready to start putting in some drums. But I got one more sound that I want to play some sort of melody in with. So I want to grab this guitar sound. Um, sounds like this. I'm, I'm a big fan of this sound. I'm not going to lie. I've been using that a lot lately. So, um... I'm just gonna kind of figure out some sort of counter melody and play that in. All right, so I went and I played in this melody, I quantized it up real quick, and um, it's an eight bar phrase as opposed to the 16 bars we've uh, been doing with the other stuff, and it sounds a little bit like this. And we're gonna put throw some effects on there eventually, so it's gonna sound a lot better than it does now because it's, it's dry as hell right now. But uh, now that we got that done, I think it's time to start putting in the drums. So uh, I'm gonna go grab some drums and let's get working. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is put in the snare here. We got this diet snare here. It's a big thick snare, so you know, I'm rocking with it. So uh, let's start throwing this in. I mean, I'll uh, not do anything crazy with it. I mean, I don't know what craziness you can do with a snare. All right, so now that we got the snare done, I'm gonna move on to this Japan hi-hat here. Um, sounds like this. I'm um, not gonna go too crazy with it, but we got some other perks here, like this uh, diet one and this ender perk. So uh, we can really, you know, add some other stuff into it if we want. So let's get it. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, so not, nothing crazy with the hats here, but now I'm gonna move in and just throw in this uh, perk on top here. And uh, this, I'm thinking we just use it every 16 bars on the uh, the last snare there, just to add a little texture. So, you know, nothing crazy with that either. So, you know, let's just uh, figure out where we can fit this perk in here. velocity adjustment here. And honestly, let's just throw the uh, the ender perk here. We'll throw that in every eight bars because, you know, why not? And there we sounds like this. And yeah, um, that's about done. Let's split this up by channel. And let's just get all that out of there. And then we can drag it in control B. And we got everything here. And you know how I've been recently. We just go in and we're random coloring everything because we are the most organized channel on YouTube. Swear to God, man. Look at that. You don't see anyone else coloring their stuff like me. I mean, <laughs> what can I say, man? Let's move on to the 808. All right, so this 808 phrase is gonna have to be longer to 16 bars because we do have a chord change in like the last bar that's like different than everything else. So uh, yeah, um, gonna be a longer 808, but it allows us to do more. So I'm excited, let's get it. And as always, make sure we come over to the volume envelope and hold up everything else down. We're gonna have some crisp, clean sounding 808s. Let's get it. I want to make sure that this is exactly like on the line here and there we go shorten these slides up here just so we can get to the actually I don't know I, I kind of like them longer man I'm not gonna lie I'm normally a big advocate for your shorter slides but I'm kind of rocking with this honestly um so this this area right here is weird because if we go over to the chord right we're gonna see that it's a c sharp chord but we're playing um g sharp in the root note which is you know obviously not the the root note for the c sharp chord it's, it's c sharp hence the name but uh you know it gives the chord a different sound so um that sounds different than so you know it gives it a different voicing but it kind of leaves us in a dilemma do we use the root note as the one for the 808 or do we use c sharp as the 808 because it's the actual chord so you know let's see what sounds better all right so let's go with uh g sharp and this is the c sharp no it's it's definitely g sharp it's definitely g sharp and then you know we got g sharp on the uh second chord as well so you know we'll just have to add some slides in there and make it sound a little different so you know let's let's get working on that all right so uh, for now, I'm going to copy this pattern over to the second time and I'm just going to kind of use that as a guide to, you know, make the process 
faster so i'm not just adding in a bunch of notes and chopping up a bunch of stuff so uh yeah let's get in and start working on the second uh eight bar phrase here We have enough juice in this 808 here to get up to these high notes. That sounds pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. We, let's see if we can do some big sliding for all of these. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really rock with it on the last one, but it sounds good on those other two, so we'll keep it there. And you already know, we about to pitch this up and go crazy with this last thing. But we got to remember that we are shifting to B over here. So we can't go too crazy without the, uh, the G sharp in our minds, without, you know, doing anything with the B. That was like a really incoherent sentence, but um, I hope you understand what I mean. So let's get it. What the hell? That actually sounds really good on its own. I'm gonna make sure we slide down to a B here. We got it. Let's get it. Let's go. That sounded hard, man. All right, let's finish off the kick and then we can finally get to this final beat. I've got this mellow kick. This, sh this shit's already loud as hell, so I don't know if we need to pitch it up. Um, Let's just see what happens. I'm going to start it in here so we can speed through it. And I don't think we need to make the kick 16 bars. It sounds fine right here. Let's just pitch it down now. All right, guys, uh, the camera fell over, so the angle's a little different, but um, I think the kick is good. I think we're ready to go. Mixmaster arranged the beat, so I'm going to fix the camera, go do that, and I'll see you guys when that's done. All right, everyone, so I am back. Have Mixmaster arranged the beat, and before we dive into playing and me sort of narrating the beat, I'm going to break down some stuff that I added. And first thing I added was a synth bass here. Um, it's actually a... Uh, audio file thing and uh it's just i just slide it up and down like if you look in here um we got the envelope on as always but it's just a really really long um bass so you know we have lots of room to slide up and down and stuff so uh yeah we had a synth bass and the second thing we added is i pitched the piano up an octave for uh, certain parts of the chorus and yeah i think that's all the new stuff that i did so now let me play you the final beat guys So just melodies in the beginning here, and then we're going to bring in the synth bass and the hat. Some mean synth bass. Hey, cool. That riser is technically new too. And that guitar about to drop in here. Alright, we're in the verse now. You know, cut out the uh, 808 and the kick there for a second.
Guys, so that is the final beat, making a drill beat like AJ Tracy. Um, honestly, I'm a huge fan of what AJ Tracy brings to drill. You know, he's doing it differently. And um, as I said, I'm a big fan of guys who are doing drill, doing not all shooty shooty stuff over that generic drill piano. I love people who are pushing the sound forward. And I definitely think AJ Tracy and the producers that he is working with are pushing the sound forward. So big shout out to him. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, your support would be greatly appreciated. If you could go down, drop a like and a comment, you know, let me know what you think. Give me some feedback and give me suggestions for future videos. And while you're down there, if you could hit the subscribe button, that would be great. I was on my YouTube analytics right and only around 8% of the people who watch my videos are actually subscribed to the channel. So go down right now, hit that subscribe button, ding the bell so you guys could be notified when I drop more content for you guys. And all I'm gonna say, new free loop kit, July 16th. Stay tuned for that. It's gonna be Friday around two weeks from now, or I think a um, week and a day from when this video is going to be going up so um stay tuned for that it's some of my best work yet really proud of it so there's a little preview on my instagram right now if you want to go follow that the at is on the screen and there's a link in the description to it if you're you know interested in seeing what i'm doing besides youtube stuff so but yeah guys that's gonna be it for today's video hope you guys enjoy it and i will see you guys later